Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is Lucas here. Thanks so much for checking out my YouTube channel. Really happy to have you here. Um, I'm really lucky. I feel uh, super pumped up that I've been getting a decent amount of uh, comments and uh, views on some of my previous videos. You should go check those out if you have time. Um, in this channel, we're going to be talking about all things related to creating music uh, and guitar playing. So guitar and uh, music production and audio engineering. So, and we'll be discussing a lot of stuff, beginner, intermediate, advanced, uh, for, for all types of skill level. And uh, today, because of um, popular demand, especially with my like um, more beginner and intermediate students, I wanted to talk about uh, choosing a guitar pick. But the thing that's interesting about this topic, it's not super frequently discussed. It, actually, guitar picks have a really huge impact on your guitar tone, so this could apply to more advanced players as well, if you're curious on the topic. And... Um, it's it's tough. It's it's hard to get really useful information on this these types of nuanced things for guitar playing. It's also very personal, um, so you may have personal preferences, and that's totally cool. But just to start off with a very broad recommendation, if you are starting to play guitar, since this is might clear something up for a lot of uh, beginner students, I think it'd be hard to go wrong with a Fender Medium um, celluloid pick. Or it's kind of like the tortoise shell looking one. And also Dunlop has the same thing. Uh, Dunlop um, tortoise shell, the full size picks. I think medium is a really good way to go. We're going to talk a little bit in more detail about this. But generally speaking, the most popular guitar picks kind of come in two sizes. There's the full size ones. And there's also these smaller ones that are called jazz threes or sometimes jazz picks. Um... For general purpose, guitar playing in comfort, the regular size picks, and also for beginners, is just going to be the way to go. They typically come in three different thicknesses. There's thin, medium, and heavy. Typically, more advanced players will prefer heavier picks for, because they're more precise, and they'll also get give you kind of a fatter, um, just bigger sound. But if you play acoustic and you do a lot of strumming on acoustic, you might find that a thinner pick, like a medium or thin, will give you a nicer sound on acoustic, like for strumming, if you kind of want that like shaker sounding strum. Um, but, you know, generally speaking, a medium should be good for most things. And some players actually will, uh, will, will prefer playing these Jazz 3 picks. They are much, much smaller. All pick companies have some kind of variation of that. And uh, they come, and well, all picks in general come in different materials, so I'll talk about that in a sec. But generally speaking, I just wanted to point out that there's kind of like full-size picks and jazz picks, um, which I find are the most commonly used pick shapes. And some brands will have many more shapes, um, like really small teardrop ones, even V picks, uh, different things. But gener generally speaking, for beginner and intermediate guitars, we're going to be using kind of a more standard type of pick. Um, unless you're into sort of a more niche type of thing. Um, pick material can vary greatly um, as far as like the way that it feels, the way that it sounds and all that. Uh, just glancing quickly on Dunlop's site, I know their most popular picks, I would say, are the celluloid ones, the one that look like tortoise shell. Tortex, which is a really nice material. Here's a Tortex one, which has like a very soft feel under the fingers. Um, Altex, which is kind of this translucent yellow one some people like nylon strings uh, sorry nylon picks which i've never loved personally um and then i know a lot of famous players use delrin which is kind of this plasticky material that i'm not a big fan of but maybe i should try more of those um so this is kind of like the main um materials and then some companies like especially higher end picks and things like that will sort of have their own um, you know, special composite. Um, Dunlop actually has this higher end type of pick called the Prime Tone, which is lovely. It looks a little bit similar to like those uh, super expensive like Red Bear or Blue Chip picks, which are two examples of like boutique guitar picks. But we're not going to get too into that because that's really expensive stuff. And, and beginner guitar players probably just want to get, you know, a big pack of cheap picks. Luckily, Dunlop and the main companies have um, variety packs. So you can just grab a couple of those and just test out a bunch of different picks and see what happens um see what you prefer see how they sound too especially on acoustic uh changing picks well on acoustic and electric and in any picked instrument changing the pick is going to drastically change your sound probably more so than a lot of other things that are commonly discussed um so that's kind of the lay of the land for that 
I would say <clears throat> jazz picks, the, the smaller size, are very nice, especially for players obviously playing jazz and also a lot of metal and aggressive rock players that have very intricate picking patterns and uh, fast notes and things like that they'll gravitate more towards using these smaller picks because they give you more precision but i do not recommend using them as beginner and intermediates just because you still need to develop your your guitar playing to get to the point of needing like a more niche guitar pick also a lot of people use these thumb picks which are really cool if you play acoustic if you're interested in country blue gla bluegrass even some rock stuff a thumb pick is a super cool thing to try out um on, especially on acoustic but on electric as well and that can give you some really really interesting um guitar sounds so i recommend at least trying that out when you're uh, starting out playing guitar especially if you're interested in country and, and all that um so yeah that's what i have i, th I think uh, changing picks is a super important part of of developing your sound as a guitarist i think it's a great idea to have a bunch of different picks available that you like especially um you can go down a rabbit hole of getting different boutique picks um here's my little pick jar I have some by V picks in here, which I don't really like very much. Some of the more expensive Dunlop prime tones, which are like a special material. They sound really, really good. Um, generally speaking, I've, I've seen that sort of more advanced players, uh, a lot of them will like really thick picks. So when I refer to a thick pick, I guess um, picks will either say like heavy or it'll give you like an exact number. So like, for example, these Dunlop Tortex Jazz 3s are 1.14 millimeter thickness. So... I would say anything above that is, is pretty heavy, so you can get very heavy picks um, if you want. Oh, and the other thing I didn't mention is some picks have grips on them. Some players prefer, like, uh, I guess by grip it's just like a, almost like a jagged or like porous surface so that your fingers don't slip when you're picking, and I find that is completely useless for me personally, but I know other players love having grips, so that's cool. And um, some of them will also have text on them, which sort of serves as a grip. So just see what works for you. Um, there's no rules about it, but I definitely did want to point out that your, your sound will change drastically from switching picks. So try it out. Let me know how it goes later.